All right, speaking of cost, does religion have a cost? In Israel, religious observance is estimated to actually cost the country $11 billion a year. But Israel's first reform rabbi in the government has plans to change the country's culture. And our reporter, Ariel Levin-Waldman, has the story. Democratic state or Jewish state? It's the great tug of war of Israel's national character. Caught in the middle, another question. Can a religious state be a Western economy in a global marketplace? Israel's first reform rabbi in parliament is demanding reforms to address those tensions and questions. It's the national state of the Jewish people and the democratic state of all its citizens. Therefore, promoting the freedom of religion and conscience, civil marriage, public transportation on Shabbat, equal support for all streams of Judaism are issues that keep me busy. One of the most character-dividing aspects of Israeli culture is Sabbath observance. Each week from Friday night to Saturday night, most economic activity in the country shuts down. But secular advocates say this is hamstringing Israel Israel's economic growth. According to the Israel Democracy Institute, 600,000 Israelis work on the Sabbath. 400,000 are Jewish. That represents 13% of the country's Jewish workforce. Most of the Israeli public is not orthodox. The secular public and a very large part of the traditional public is much closer to us than to the orthodox Judaism. Research that was done in recent years shows that about 12 to 13 percent of the Jews in Israel identify themselves with conservative Judaism. It's hard to quantify how much work is done in Israel on the Sabbath, as no official figures are kept. But data from the 2013 National Economic Council plan suggests that the day of rest could be costing Israel's economy more than $11 billion annually, roughly 3% of the total GDP. There are several factors that cause that. In other nations, a day of rest promotes economic activity as the population rushes to theaters and restaurants. But outside of limited options in Tel Aviv, there's no public transportation in Israel on the Sabbath, cutting off that option for many. If there is one issue that does not divide the Israeli public between right and left wing, it is the one of religion and state. Most Israelis, including the right wing, are in favor of civil marriage and public transportation on Shabbat. Israeli politics gave far too much power to the parties of the orthodox minority. Would cities opening the economy on the Sabbath rocket Israel's economic growth, though? That's a complicated question. Gallup polls show that at least 30 percent of the nation identifies as traditionally religious and would willingly avoid economic activity. But the same polls show that 65 percent are not practicing faithful, enough for significant Sabbath trade. And there's the big question. Is Israel just lines on the map full of economically interchangeable people, or does the Jewish state imply a national culture incompatible with the Western way?